Well, hello everyone, and it's welcome to the homework video for this week. Um, I'm Lisa from Shady Tree Stitches, and we have with us Knitting at Stitches today. And hello. as usual, um, on my videos, a, another secret guest from No New Starts. So all the No New Starts people, you've got to try and work out who is secret guest. Say hello, secret guest. Hi guys. There we go. So it is currently um, Sunday in America and Monday in Australia, the 25th of January. So this is the week starting Monday, 25th of January. And we do actually have all three main homework groups that we talk about to talk about today. So um, we're going to do that. First, though, um, I want to do the drawing from last week. Now, last week, uh, we had only got, because I tried to make it tricky and it succeeded, we only have, where's the camera, three people who correctly guessed who the secret guest was. It was purposely tricky because we'd had a few, um, a few tricky ones, a few easy ones. So, a few gimmies. Number two. And number two is actually Jamie Johnson. So congratulations to Jamie. So she's the number two person. And um, just, you know, you'll be getting a free um, fun raffle ticket, Jamie. So enjoy that when you see this video um, and I'll put it on the spreadsheet. All right. So as I said, for today- Congratulations, you... Jamie. <laughs> so when you have, um, when you watch this video, comment on where I post this in No New Starts. Don't comment on the video itself. Put a comment below and have you guessed. Thank you to those people who guessed incorrectly though. It was a challenge. I did it on purpose. Also, a quick um, retraction from last video. Carla was telling us about some really exciting sounding groups. Um, unfortunately, they were closed groups. We didn't know that. And one of them's now shut down anyway. So ignore that. You cannot join them. But um, we really, really have some ideas in mind. So you never know what will happen in 2022 after we finish no new starts, who knows? So um, we'll let you know when we know things. All right, no new starts has nothing new happening in the, this week, just continuing with your Dimensions Gold or Dimensions Birthday Sale and continuing with your Aquarius that we went through last week. Um, that's all I think we've got for, for no new starts. Semi saying anything happening in that? We got letter B. Uh, letter B for the alphabet. Letter. B. Yep. And just. I'm yet, I think I've I've just finished, just finished stitching on my letter. So, yeah, got a few more stitches to go though. Uh huh. And I think it's just continuing the snowballs, uh, the focus piece, everything. Nothing. New. That's right. Last week. Yeah. But next week we're going to have a lot because the month rolls over. So there's going to be another big monthly and then the new week starts as well. So it'll be a big one next week. You will. Okay, let's start as we like to do with the Cross Stitches Journal and Daily 31st. So Nanny Nat, take it away. What are we doing this week? It's Hedgehog Week! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hedgehogs. We even have them in Australia. Hedgehogs. They're they so are cute. cute. They are cute. Okay, so as always with the prompts and doing the homework, this is just us talking about the homework prompts. We are not involved in marking the homework. So what we're doing is not necessarily exactly what the people that are writing the questions are after. It's a pretty good guess because we've done this a few times, um, but take it with a grain of salt. We are not the authorities on the questions and the answers. So first question, first prompt for Hedgehog Week. Uh, we are looking for whips with things that contain hedgehog food so they look at small creatures like teeny tiny ones because they've got teeny tiny mouths worms insects centipedes snails mice frogs mice and snakes and it has a little pig like grunt so the name of the hedgehog so we need to stitch on a whip with hedgehogs preferred food in the design you don't need to stitch on those 
It just needs to be in the design. Okay. So, secret guest, where would you like me to go on your whips? So, I was thinking Anzac, which is like the fourth or fifth row down. There it is. Why There's lots think? of little critters in there. There is lots of little critters in Anzac. And, and I must say, when I was thinking about it, that's what was coming to my mind as well um, for, for me. Uh, or, of course, because you know what I'm like, the other option I'd have, which is one of my focus pieces, and it's the Amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf, which I've got over here, but there's so many little critters and things in there that um, I'm sure mm -hmm. I could do something in that. I put up a jigsaw picture because it was clearer than the cross stitch ones. Yeah. Um, I also have Anzac, um, which I'm getting closer and closer towards the end, but I've also got Zoe, which has got butterflies. So okay. I've got some options. So I haven't yet decided which way I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Okay. Number two, hedgehogs have about 5,000 spines, which are specialised hollowed out one inch modified hairs that are made like our hair of keratin. Stitch on a piece that if your completed stitches were spines, you could cover a, he a hedgehog. So in other words, stitch on a whip where you've already got at least 5,000 stitches complete. Secret guest, where would you like me to go? So the only one that I think has, that I know for sure would be the Disneyland map. And that's the one, the first yep. picture. There it is on the left. Okay. So you could stitch on that. Um, I'm about the same boat. The only one I'd know for sure would be my Amazing Animal Kingdom bookshelf. Um, and it's my focus piece for January focus. So even though I'm not necessarily needing more stitches for the um, zombie run, I could get some stitches in on that one. Mm. I have quite a few that I can choose from. One that I really want to get a bit more work done on is my linen and threads from 2020. So I think I would work on that one. Sounds good. Some people might find that a challenge, but remember you can always do the um, the extra stitches, the alternative stitches, which is an extra 100 stitches on top of whatever you're trying to do, either 300 or 400. So then you do 400 or 500. That's right. Okay, the hedgehog is nocturnal, coming out at night. Stitch on a whip that has something that represents night in the design. Okay. Secret guest. So one of my pieces for this month for WIPGO was Search the Sky, and that uh -huh. takes place at night because that's when Santa comes out. I can see that. May you never be too grown up to search the sky on Christmas Eve. Lovely. Um, oh, I have quite a few options. I'm going to just share my options. Because as usual, we haven't necessarily given too much thought to this yet. We like to do it on the on the go to show you the way our brains work. Um, I have quite a few night pieces, but I'm not necessarily sure that I'm going to be stitching on them. Um, you could stitch on Anzac because there's a lighthouse. I could stitch on Anzac because there's a lighthouse. Or there's that other lighthouse one that's just there. Yes. Or I could do my Once Upon a Fairy Tale. Mm -hmm. um, it has night scenes in it. And it's, um, you know, it could be potentially be an option for my 5,000. I just have to check my pattern keeper. No, I was just noticing that that's not all my whips. I don't know why they're not there. Mm. Here they come. I was thinking, where have they gone? Oh, I know I have more than that. There no, Facebook's been lagging with the albums mm. when you try to open them. Um, my my Christmas house is definitely nighttime. Same idea as you, secret guest. 
Mm-hmm. Um, Things that might be Halloweeny could mm, do that as well. Yes, definitely. Um, I, I potentially might do the spooky hollow that's over here on the right because mm. it's night time. There's lots of lights on, and I know that that fits in with a prompt that is coming up in another group. So I actually may dig that one out to be my night time. Yeah, I like to double dip if possible, and. I'm really thrown this week because I'm actually doing a model stitch for myself and I have to get it done by the end of the month. So I really have to get it done this week. So I could just be doing penalty stitches for everything this week, which is very unlike me. I don't I like to do that, but I work comes first. It does come first. I have two options as well. Um, and this is where the double dips come in. This is one that's pretty obvious, night walked down. And with, so it's talking about night and there's a, moons and stars in it. The other option is Shakespeare's fairies. Oh, with their lanterns. Yes. With their lanterns. And they're, they're off for a moonlight party. So, uh -huh. so yes, I think, I think either one of those could be my nighttime options. Hmm. See what depending you're on how I go with the double dipping. Yes. Mm. Next. All right. Prompt number four. 17 species of hedgehog, none are native to Australia, New Zealand, or America. They, they've been introduced to these countries by man, and in the US, they've gained popularity as a pet. Put stitches into a whip with something you have or would like to have as a pet in the design. Okay, secret guess, where would you like us to go? All right, so there's Winter Wienerland by Plum Street. Um, it's about like the fifth or sixth line down. Yep, there it is on the left. Oh, those doggies. There you go, they're cute puppies. So awesome. They look a bit like Dashens. Yep. Cool. All right, for me, yes. I actually am going to be working on this one again. Um, this one's going to be my daily 30 this week because I'm going through my old whips and I worked on this last week for my old whip <laughs> and this cat. I would love a cat. I have a cat. I just got two. So I would actually double dip. Um, well, I can't double dip this because it's my daily 30, but I'd get some more work done on it. Yeah. Same thing. Um, this is my daily 30, but it's got dogs. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, and you want to get this that one done. Yeah, this is one that the lovely Lisa designed for me. So that's... Thank yay. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the plug for Paddock Lane Designs. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number five. In New Zealand, a satiric political party, the McGillicuddy Serious Party, tried to get a hedgehog elected to Parliament. Stitch on a piece that has either something serious or something silly in the design. Be sure and explain your choice. All right, secret guest, where would we like to go? So something silly, because I doubt, I don't think I have very many serious things. Uh -huh. um, would probably be, I'd probably double, like, or do more on the, um, I can't talk, um, the winter wienerland, because uh -huh. that's silly. It's very silly. It is. Look at those dogs and the, <laughs> your snowman's heads come off. <laughs> okay, well, I actually think I would be doing a bit of extra as well. Um, it's not double dipping per se, but this the spooky hollow, because um, those dancing skeletons are silly. Yeah. Um, and I will be working on my You Look Kind of Sus Among Us whip. Cool. It's a very silly game that I play with game. my kids. It's good fun. It's great fun. Mm-hmm. Okay. The bonus prompt. Stitch on a whip with a hedgehog in the design. Can't be clearer than that. 
the hedgehog must be in the design. It must be a clear representation of a hedgehog to qualify. There are no alternate stitches. So you can't, you can't do penalty stitches for this. No, and this is where previous to this year, I would have gone, oh yeah, I've got a hedgehog in that piece. I'll start that piece. But I cannot do that this time for no new starts. Secret guest, do you have a hedgehog? I do. Okay. Um, I have Hedgehog House by Lindy Stitches. Um, it's about halfway down. Thank you. It's by Light by Barbara Anna and... Oh, there it is. Yep. There he is. Thank you. You're very good at directing me. That's awesome. There it is. <laughs> hedgehog House with a hedgehog. So you were doing in that one. Well, <laughs> this was why, and I, I don't, let me see if I can make it bigger. Um, this was exactly why I decided to do this picture to show you because you can see it's closest I could get it to look. We're looking for a hedgehog and I wasn't sure if that was a hedgehog up there. I don't think he is. I'm not sure if that could be a little hedgehog poking his nose out of the grass there. I mean, it could be because I think that piece has every single animal. Yeah. So I was trying to find, well, where is Mr. Hedgehog? Um, yeah. So I feel like, as I said, I can't make this picture any bigger, but I can at least zoom in on it. I feel like that one coming out of the grass, but I can't see anywhere else that the hedgehog might be. The hedgehog like water. Yeah, um, but it's also a woodland scene as well. So it's also I think, it, I think a woodland scene yeah, where that so fox walk. Yeah, I think it's. Down, a, I think that would appropriately one. be. There. Yeah. So I think mm -hmm. that if I just if I can get, I probably won't get there because of my model stitch. But if I did, I would go for that. It's a focus piece, and yeah. Just a matter of trying to take the photo clear enough to get to see the hedgehog. All right. So that's the daily 30 done. Um, moving on to the magical stitches. All right. So it's a pretty long one, but um, dear guests, we hope you have enjoyed your time getting to know how our camps work. This week, the camp counselors will be in at an all staff meeting. We'll be working on getting everyone into their teams. So you'll be on your own this week. We will not have time to answer questions. You are more than welcome to post a question in the group or your fellow campers can help you. This week, you will be doing research over mythical creatures. You will also be stitching them. Your task this week is to stitch 1000 stitches. You may choose to stitch on one whip or multiple whips. Each magical creature you stitch will need to be 100 stitches. If you need to spend time in the computer center to research your creatures, that is fine. To give you an example, I wanted, you to, I wanted to know if mermaids were mythical creatures. I Googled it and this is what I found. A mermaid is a mythical sea dwelling creature, often described as having the head and body of a woman and a fish's tail below the waist. <clears throat> Stories of mermaids have existed for thousands of years and span cultures across the world, from coastal settlements in Ireland to the landlocked Karu Desert in South Africa. So your task this week is to stitch a thousand stitches. Um, penalty stitches are 1,500. Um, and then now for those of you who do do the research, stitch a thousand on mystical creatures, you earn 500 bonus stitches for your team. Cool. Well, I can tell you right now, I will actually be doing penalty stitches <laughs> because I'm not sure if I could come up with 10 mythological creatures to stitch on if it's saying we need 10 separate $100, 100 stitch creatures. I don't know if you can stitch, you know, 400 on a mermaid, but I... Well, now that I've read it for the eighth time, it says you may choose stitch to stitch on one whip or multiple whips. So like we were saying earlier, you could probably stitch a thousand on a mermaid because it doesn't, because it says. Well, I'm not sure because it could be if you had like the mythological creature Sal, that's one whip, but you can stitch right. hundred stitches for each of 10 animals. So I would be inclined and again, have absolutely no idea, like Natalie said, 
Yeah. I would be inclined to think you need 10 animals. So what do you reckon, Nat? Be frozen. It's hard to tell. Um, unstable. Um, I've got multiple. No, she's unstable. Well, you have some um, animal secret person that you want to share with us. Um, right, so. <laughs> we'll let Natalie get herself fixed up. She might have to change her internet over or something. <laughs> we'll get back to you, Natalie. What do you got, secret person? What are, what are some mythological creatures? So there's a centaur, a unicorn, a dragon, mermaids, and Domino snowman. Um, if you're working on the Clouds Factory Magical Creatures calendar, that's got all of them. Mm -hmm. That's good. Is that any better? That is better. Okay. I Thank you. I've just put the child off the internet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> just for now. Um, so what have you got, Nat? What comes to your mind? I have fairies and dragons, unicorns and angels, and they're all on different widths. Mm. So I've probably got uh, one, two, three, four, five, Seven, eight. Is Santa mythical? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I, <laughs> I probably got close to okay. ten. Um, okay. and one of those whips has multiple of those creatures. So, in. Yeah, you could so, do unicorn A and unicorn B. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm. All right, and fairy one, two, and three. Yeah. Well, you can only try. What's the worst you're going to lose? You're going to get stitches done on your whips, which you want to do. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, secret person, I'm going to share yours. Where are we going? So I will be working on the Magical Creatures Creep calendar from Clouds Factory. Um, it's about the 15th whip in. Okay, I'm probably too far then. Yeah, it's next to Wacky Witches and Stitches and a mickey head oh yes there we are over on the left there yep and that's got all of them i can see there you got plenty there to do yeah well i think i think sammy J will be kicking herself that she's finished that magical stitches piece that she was working <laughs> on damn i had them all on that <laughs> all right so that's um the end of end of magical stitches okay um few other little ones is that we've got um, Crystal Academy is working away on Sharp part two. So we actually are stitching for our lives to save our mascot. Half the mascots, poor couch potatoes went last round. No more couch potatoes. Um, no more couch tacos. No more couch tacos. Um, <laughs> but there's seven of us left and they want to cut it down to six. So whichever team has the least number of stitches stitched for it this week, um, it's going to be bye-byes. So I am in the Rougarous and we would like to stay, please. So if anyone would like to stitch for the Rougarous, please, please, please do. Natty, your your couch tacos are gone. Do you have a new home you prefer? Or? <laughs> the, the couch tacos, otherwise known as kush tacos, um, are probably going to slide into the Caracaras. So yes, Caracara, we're coming, we're coming with you on the journey. Hopefully, hopefully we'll bring along some more people as well. So yeah, so they're shrinking the number of groups, but more people will be in them, which which will be good, I think. Um mm. and secret guest, are you in any particular group or in Crystal? I am not, but I will be doing the tribunal when mm -hmm. it starts. So you've been a you've been a um a commuter. commuter. Yeah. Yep. Lovely. Well there you are. Do the tribunal and see where you get sorted to. Um it is really good that they're taking the care to try and keep things even. Um 
in both crystal and, and magical. That's really cool. Yes. Okay, so I think that's all the groups apart from Supernatural. Now, Supernatural, remember, is a really cool group based on the Supernatural series. And you stitch to earn yourself bullets, which is dollars, that you can then spend on your stash. So you manage it yourself. You can do all the prompts or as little of the prompts as you want in a numbers of 100, or you can also just do 150 penalty stitches. But I don't bother. I just do whichever prompts I can actually double dip. So I'm going to read you through these prompts and see if anything just jumps to your mind. We don't necessarily need to show them, but something we were already doing that might fit or whatever. Um, it's based this time on season three, episode 13, Ghost Faces. So the first one is you've got to pull out a fancy lady project. So none of us have mentioned fancy ladies yet this week. Um, I would pull out my Alice if I was going to. Yeah. I will pull out my Maidens of the Seasons. Mm -hmm. Secret and that is that is one genre that I do not have is no, I don't have any pretty ladies. Do you have Minnie Mouse? <sighs> you know, I did some one of the Disney ones, I'm sure. Well, even in the Disney villains, they're pretty fancy. Maleficent is fancy. Yeah. So you could probably twist it that way if you wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Um, the next one is to work on your oldest whip, so I would be double dipping that ginger cat. I will be double, I will, I won't be double dipping with any of this week's challenges, but I will be stitching on St Andrews, which is one of my oldest whips. Secret? My oldest whip right now is stretching portraits by Good Morning Maui, so I could put some more. More in that. I mean, we... We just worked on that last week for, for um, Magical Stitch. We did. So, um, get some more work done. On, work on a project that features at least one wild animal. So obviously for me, my amazing animal kingdom has plenty of wild animals. Anzac. Oh, plenty. yes. Yes, Anzac has plenty too. That's what I would work on okay. too with Anzac. What are you guys going to do when you finish your Anzac? It comes in so handy. Mm -hmm. um, this one I won't be doing, stitching a project which features a hot beverage because nothing I'm stitching has a hot beverage. I, I do have one. I could do it because my do re mi, which I need to finish, but I'm not going to have time this week to do it. No, I don't, I don't have hot beverages in mine. I don't. I have a couple with coffee beans, but nothing with a hot beverage. No, but again, you do whichever ones you want to. And you can do yeah. as many stitches as you want to in lots of 100. So if you're really wanting to just do one prompt and do a thousand stitches on it, you can. It's great. Um, work on work on a project that you feel brings you reassurance. I mean, that could be so many of them. Um, a project with a title that starts with a letter in chisel chest. The design company or person has a last first or last name which spells any of those letters. Uh, St Andrews starts with an S. I can actually do that because Paddock Lane Designs, the designer is Lisa Lane, and my model stitch was designed by Lisa Lane of Paddock <laughs> Lane Designs, which is the L in chisel. Yes. <laughs> um, what about I, you, Secret? I probably wouldn't be doing that one. That's fine. Um, stitch on a project that relates to your roots. Now, if I was actually going to do it, I would do my... Um, Satsuma Street, Pretty Little Sydney, because I was born and raised in Sydney. I will do Anzac. Mm hmm Yep. You can't do Anzac Secret Guest. No, but I would do Disneyland because I'm from Southern California. There we go. Yep. Great. Lots, of, lots of hints for this week. Um, okay, <laughs> the next one is stitch on a project that features a skeleton, including sugar skulls. So I would be double dipping my Spooky Hollow. Oh, yes, I have Witch Witchcraft Supply um, by Night Spirit Studio. That's got a skeleton, it's got a skull on the shelf. Mm -hmm. Cool. I have Wacky Witches and Stitches. There's, there's some skeletons in there. Cool. So you'd be double dipping that one. Um, right, Stitch on a project that stands for inclusion or diversity. Hmm. 
I can see one on your screen straight away, secret guest. <laughs> I'm looking at your whip album and there's one sitting right next to your magical creatures. Oh, oh yes, yes. When Gadium Lesbianosa. Yes, there you go. So that's Very a, LGBT. That would be the perfect piece for, for what it's yeah. asking for. Yeah. Um, I think I would need to think about that a bit longer to see what I've got. Um, and yeah, I, if I don't have one, well, that's clearly a hole I have in well, my album. For me, it would be my um, Caprice Fairy because remember I started her last year and she's mm -hmm. going to be an Indigenous Australian fairy. So she would mm -hmm. be inclusive of different cultures mm. or diverse. Okay, next one. Stitch on a project that includes a party of some sort. Oh, yes. Okay, so my Shakespeare's fairies are off to a party. They are indeed. Secret guest? My wacky witches and stitches, they're having a big old party in one of the, in the kitchen scene. Yep, and my spooky um, hollow has a skeleton dancing at a Halloween party. So I would be doing more on that one. Um, include a whip, a whip that includes a reference to dreams or dreaming. Ooh. Uh, uh, my Shakespeare's fairies. They're, um, Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Yep. I would probably go with my, um, my Christmas house because it's got Santa and reindeers landing on the roof and the kids would be asleep dreaming of the presents and Santa and stuff. I could do Once Upon a Time from Frosted Pumpkin because they have the princess and the pea, so she's out of bed and she's sleeping, or she should be sleeping. Cool. And the last one is to put a pro work on a project which you put a big investment in either time or material. So any of your hades, your um, mirabilia, your chatelaines, any of those would be a good investment in cost plus time. Yes. So there you go. So that covers the this week's homework challenges. I don't think we've left any out. Um, if we have, sorry. But next week, it'll be a big one. So thank you again to Nat and the secret guests for joining us. See you next week. Bye. Bye.